Little secret, Don. I really was not a coffee drinker a whole lot very long before we got into the coffee business. That is an honest answer from Ryan Stewart as to why he went from selling tires to cups of coffee. You would say the buckaroo gives you a little kick. Gives you a little kick. Ryan and his family called Wyoming home, working at and then owning a big old tire store. Then almost 10 years ago, he traveled to the Treasure Valley on business, and then something very obvious hit him right in the face. They're about six weeks ahead of us on summer and about six weeks behind us on winter. And <laughs> So the Stewart family headed west, and since Ryan is a self-admitted entrepreneur, an opportunity presented itself called Moxie Java. We didn't necessarily want to own a coffee shop, but we were really interested in the process behind that, the warehouse and distribution and, yeah, the cool stuff, you know, like really geeking out on how that stuff is made. This roasts everything in a column of hot air, kind of like a pop air popcorn popper. Dave, the master roaster, loves the process of making the different blends and recipes and getting everything to the finished product. We'll throw the bag under here. Okay. You can have a foot pedal that we use to, to dump the coffee into that bag. Okay. Then it go right through the sealer and right down to be packaged. Ryan's all in on the whole buy Idaho thing. The powder they make with sugar comes from the amalgamated sugar bee plant right across the street. That is just such a unique thing to Idaho that we're so rich in agriculture and so rich in production that we can, you know, it's really partnering together, you know, with these other businesses to really support our industries and employ our people. And it, it really is pretty cool. And if you ever need some solid advice on your treads, Ryan can still point out a few things. A vehicle like this. Oh man, Don, I think you've got a problem here. You better do a six inch lift with 315 7017s and a reinforced Kevlar sidewall with extra strong halobutyl innerliners. I have no idea what you just said. Well, sometimes you gotta go big or go home. Hopefully good enough to get me home. Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.